what's going on youtube welcome to the channel thanks for checking out the channel and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and hit the notify button we're always dropping new toyota tacoma content we got a little raft right here too but anyway no we got a 2024 trd sport right here it's all black and it looks to be pretty dumbed down so what i mean by that is it doesn't look like it has a ton of options so let's just see what we are working with guys hopefully everybody's having a good day and let's see so it looks like we got 45,000 almost 46,000 let you guys see that looks like we got heated front seats and I don't know what this other one is courtesy delivery something and then we got the black badges overlays it looks like you guys can slow that down again and go back over it but we'll look at it and see what we're working with here first of all let's make it a little smaller because it's a long bed so this is the first long bed sport I believe that I've seen I don't know let me know if we've seen one on the channel before but it looks like it's got the tacoma blacked out on the side right here but it doesn't look like it has it on the back i do like these trd sport wheels and i'm still i don't know about this some people said they like it but this is it's just gotten cheaper and cheaper i mean this this decal looks trash i'm just gonna say i don't i would definitely be removing the decal if i get a 24 It'll probably be a pro, so I probably won't have to worry about that. But if I was to get one of these, a hybrid or something, or just a regular 2022 turbocharged, I would remove that. Sorry for taking so long just to say that I would remove that sticker. I just don't think it looks good. I just think it looks kind of cheap, and it just looks like they just threw it on there. They didn't really, like, like I don't know what the hell they were thinking. Excuse my language. I've been saying that word a lot lately. I'm really trying to calm down, but um, I just get upset. Sorry. So anyway, so it's not blacked out. It's a 4x4. Four the black does look good on this truck. Let's see what kind of tailgate we got going on here. It's locked, so that's what kind of tailgate we got going. This whole truck is completely locked. So they got two trucks over here. They got two 24s on the lot. I was trying to do a video on the silver one, but I don't know what happened. It was just, I was messing up is what happened. <laughs> so I like the sports a lot. Like I said, if I was to get a 2024 right now, I think I would get the sport. I get a TRD sport because I just like the hood scoop and i don't really feel like i'm going to be really using um no crawl control or nothing like that the only thing that i would probably miss is the rear locker that you get with the off-road but you get four-wheel drive here and um it's probably really nice to have a locker if you're really going to be doing some serious off-roading i think if you're not going to be doing any type of off-roading really i think if you got four-wheel drive you should be good and get you a nice good set of aggressive off-road tires you know some ko2s or some falcon wild peaks any of those brands yeah i think you'd be good because i've used my four-wheel drive and i like i said i just basically put on the rear locker just to put it on just to get everything all the all the fluids flowing properly but uh yeah four-wheel drive is really all you need like i said um so that's my excuse that's why i would just get a sport over the off-road because i don't think i'll use all those you know all the uh features that the off-road has over the sport and the prices are pretty pretty close too so if you do want the off-road, you know, or you're thinking about getting a Sport, I think they're pretty much around the same price. And like I just mentioned, you are going to get more features on the off-road because, you know, it's a little bit more geared towards off-roading. And we're going to get 21 miles in this um, combined and 19 in the city, 23. So, yeah, like I said, they're not doing any markups over here, guys. But this is $45,000, almost $46,000. And you're not even going to get, um, you know, power seats. So, I mean, that's fine because, I mean, I think it's fine, but I don't think it's really fine, but I think it's fine if you don't care about that stuff. Some people just don't care. They don't care if it's a manual seat. They'll be like, it's a truck. It doesn't matter. And um, I'm just a little disappointed with, uh, with this setup because like the back window, I mean, you don't get any sliding back window. Then you lost the, you used to, I'm surprised they even got lights back here. You don't even get a power outlet. Like that was like standard. That was standard on the previous generation but this generation they did give you some extras they gave you some extras like you get toyota safety sense so you know this truck is going to basically drive itself just like a tesla not quite like a tesla but it is going to drive itself so let's just see let's see what size tires we're working with down here so we're working with 265 65 18 so they went up to 18s and before the sports were on 17s the sports were on 17s and the off-roads were on 16s and the pro I'm pretty sure if you had an sr5 you had 16 inch wheels too 
So this air dam right here definitely got to go. Definitely got to go. So Rob Motive got him a new one. Rob Motive went out there and cop copped him one. I think he got that uh, supersonic red, I think the color is on here. So shout out to Rob Motive. You guys check him out if you guys want to look at some new Toyota Tacoma content because I'm sure he's going to be on there modding his truck out like nobody's business. But uh, yeah, so these ones are here. Um, I, I almost wanted, maybe just to make it interesting. I don't know. I'll just, I'll just stay here because it's going to be... Well, what I will do is I'll take you guys over there because we've pretty much seen this one here. So turbocharged, they're finally showing up. Um, they've got two here on the lot right now. So, you know, we're a pretty uh, good sized dealership. Not we're, but, you know, this is my my hometown dealership. When we're at Capital Toyota, shout out to Joey. Shout out to Andrew, those guys. Make sure you tell them little Kenny sent you. So you guys must not be buying vehicles from these guys because they haven't told me that you guys have bought one. And my viewers haven't said that you guys have bought one from these guys. But yeah, these guys don't do any markups, so you can always give them a shot. But yeah, they got two of these trucks. They got one silver SR5 on the ground. So yeah, you know, it's just chilling here. It's a nice truck, but you, like I said, you gotta be, you gotta be okay with um, the manual seats. Oh yeah, that's what else I was thinking about. So it's the small screen. You're gonna get the small screen with this one. But one thing I do like about these new trucks is. And they just did it like they got that button that trd push start button is red it just looks like that's the button that you just want to push like you just want to push it i just want to push it now it's like that's the red button like that's the button that's in the president's office you know that red button in the president's office you know what that means yeah you know what that means so yeah that red button right there it looks nice i wish they would have did that on our truck like i've already mentioned it i got some black little stupid little button on there that does not look good at all but yeah that button looks good I don't know if it's uh worth forty six thousand dollars. How much is this thing? Yeah, forty six. Forty six thousand dollars for the sport, and uh, like the two options. So here's all the options that I would want on my sport. I would basically want it fully loaded. I want a camera up here. You can get a camera on these guys, and you could get the big screen, the big fourteen inch screen. And uh, yeah, they just man, you don't get no power tailgate here. You don't get a power tailgate. You do get an automatic locking tailgate that you can lock with your fob. So yeah, you don't get the party trick and then you don't get the big screen and no power seats. Yeah, so, and no, I don't even know if you, you don't even get a heated steering wheel, I don't believe. I don't even think you're gonna get a heated steering wheel. Yeah, let's think, I don't, you're gonna get heated seats. And I can't believe they even charging you for that. Like which, what car doesn't have heated seats that's like, yeah. yeah i don't think they're gonna let you guys kind of look inside here it's a nice inside it's a nice interior though i do like the new interior of these trucks I'm, i got it all big and super big for you guys sorry but i definitely appreciate all the love you guys been showing the channel let me know i know you guys have been reaching out to me i know you guys want to see um you guys want to see the nissan frontier i'm gonna go test drive one so that's the plan. I'm going to try to get that done this week. Definitely going to get it done before the weekend. So I'll just show you guys this one here. They got an off-road here. So I know you guys like these. I like the RAV. This is an off-road RAV. It's a TRD. This is the non-hybrid one, but it is in Army Green, which is discontinued. And we'll just give you guys a quick little price on this one just because it's right here. $42,000. So $42,000. $42,000 and you get a 2.5 four cylinder engine. You get 203 horsepower and 184 uh, pound feet of torque. So here's some of the specs and here's some of the options if you guys want to see that. Looks like they had a thousand dollar package on there. So looks like you're going to get a lot of stuff. You're going to get all the heated stuff. You're going to get more options with this RAV. You're going to get more options with this RAV right here then you're gonna get with the Tacoma, but you know, it's a truck and that's a RAV. The RAVs are super nice, you know, if you got a little family and stuff. And this one's kind of geared towards off-road. They have the Overland one. I don't know, the Woodlands one, I, I believe it is. And that's the hybrid version. But a lot of people like Army Green. You know, this was my uh, second Tacoma was Army Green. But uh, yeah, you guys, the Tacomas are here. They got two on the lot. So the bigger the dealership is, the, the more of these trucks you're gonna have sitting around. So hopefully, you're still here hopefully we'll start seeing some discounts some big discounts right now the biggest discount i've seen is 250 bucks that's the biggest one i can verify for you guys so 
Hopefully we'll see some discounts coming soon, but have a good day and God bless. Peace.